Hi, welcome to the 6.8 liter garage. Um, got a little bit different configuration today because I'm not really cutting anything. I noticed online that uh, Andrew gave us a Christmas present and um, he updated the firmware both for the unit and Simple Trace and uh, included some new features. So um, I don't know how much I don't use Simple Trace as much as I should. I mean, it is by far the the biggest game changer for CNC plasma but I still go back to the computer maybe because I'm a computer guy but anyway we'll take a look at the some of the new features and uh, first of all let's do the upgrade I thought when I saw it come out I was like ah no sense doing a video on that because everybody's seen that before but you forget as a, <laughs> a YouTube guy you know as I kind of have become that just because I have a hundred videos out there it doesn't mean everybody's watched every one of them. Matter of fact, most people haven't watched any of them. A lot of the most of the viewers who watch this current video, the one you're watching right now, will not have watched any of my uh, videos and aren't subscribed. So you got to remind yourself of that. That um, just because you put it out there doesn't mean anybody's seen it. So we'll um, so we'll go through doing the upgrade to the firmware one more time and um, like I said it'll be new content for some people if you've seen it before um, bear with us and we'll see how this goes okay so the first step to upgrading this thing is to uh, turn it off and then we'll put this micro SD card the only thing on this chip is the contents of the um, the firmware upgrade so completely emptied it, format it if you need to, should be FAT32, and then unzip that file and put that firmware on here. So I'm going to turn this off, turn the arc droid off, try to slide the chip in the wrong direction, then flip it over and try to slide it in the right direction. Alright, so now the chip's in there. I'm going to turn it back on. And that should automatically upgrade. Okay, so there's not a whole lot of indication. I think there's a the little red bar that shows when it first comes up. Um, when I try it, when it does the update, but you can do this hit the gear, double tap the arc droid. And then version info and we can see up here system Marlin PPR 24 12 11 so December 11th version A that is the upgrade for the, the unit here that was on this chip so we're good back exit and now we need to do the upgrade for simple trace so I'm going to Turn this off. Pull out the little chip. And put it back in this adapter just to keep it protected. Now we're going to stick. So this is a 32 gig thumb drive formatted in FAT32. The only thing on it is the contents of the Simple Trace zip file that I downloaded and you can see the red screen it's doing an update in this case red is good can you read that checking for update verifying the font file It's difficult to get the camera where you can read the screen and where I can read the screen without the glare from the overhead lights. Uh, racing old. Maybe I'll speed this up. But on the other hand, it's good to see real time so that you know when you do yours that that's common. It's not a, nothing bad's happening.
verifying update updating icons, verifying file, erasing old icons and we're back let's check the version again and where's the version of that for firmware 24, so 1226A, so 2024, 1226A. That's the new version that we upgraded to. Tap anywhere to get out of there, back, exit. I'm gonna remove this, so if I restart it, I don't automatically start the upgrade again. And that's the screen. Let's home the, I'm gonna home the arm. So it'll let us do some things. We'll get in here and see if we see any differences in the screen. Um, a better videographer than me would have shown you the screen before the update. But let's go to Trace. And let's see. Let's draw something. Oh, there you go. There's the new updated. Let's see if I'm smart enough to use them without without Andrew looking over my shoulder. See, I'm drawing some sort of an arc here. And there you go. Three points becomes a an arc, and that. I'll have to figure out how to use that. I could see that for some gussets and some things like that would be very handy. Like I said, I don't use simple trace as often as I should, but maybe I'll do more of that. I've been doing a lot of more artsy type things. So th this is the other thing, um, these favorites um, were added with this update. So let's say this is a common so for me, like I said, I've been using the computer a lot more and sheet cam can store some of the favorites as far as uh, material thicknesses and stuff. And a lot of these settings come from there. But if you're doing simple trace work, um, it'd be nice to uh, say, take these settings and save them. We'll give it a name. Uh, Where's the backspace? Right there. Call it. I didn't really pay attention to what it was, but. Oops. Jeez. Let's say those settings were for 16 gauge. Oh my god. Can I hit the right letter? Okay, so now I've got those settings saved as 16 gauge. If I, so I assume if I changed one of these, make it 0.6. And then I said, oh, I don't like that. I want to come back to my favorites. I assume I'd be able to tap that. Whoa. That's weird. Now I'm gonna have to play with that, but the favorites are there. They seem to be doing something weird though. So, yeah, we'll have to look into that. Anyway, this video wasn't about how to use the new features or I couldn't hope to show you all the new features, but uh, hopefully that'll help some people, take the fear away for some people who wanna do the up the update of the firmware. So there you go. Okay, well, that's how you update the Arc Droid. Um, again, I'm not from Arc Droid. I don't know Andrew. I have talked to Andrew, but uh, um, so don't take this as the gospel. That's how I did it. It works, the upgrade works. Uh, as you saw, the, saving the favorites for the settings has some funky going on. Uh, my settings changed dramatically when I tried to import one of my favorites, so. Um, 
I lived without that feature before, so I probably won't need it now. Just be aware that uh, it is doing something funky there. Uh, hopefully they'll get that worked out. There, I mean, as evidenced by the new firmware they just put out, it's a very well supported product. They do fix things and upgrades, you know, and updates. So, assuming I didn't do something wrong, which is unbelievably possible. <laughs> um, anyway, I appreciate you watching and uh, um, maybe, well, the next video we'll cut something out, but for this video, this is just uh, how to update the firmware on your Arcdroid. So, thanks for watching.